first question here is from Matt. Uh, how can we use the Intune management tool from Michael Carlson to import configurations from the uh, Open Intune baseline? And can you show that? Uh, that I can. Um, I have not the latest version, the one that was just updated, but I have a previous version uh, downloaded here. So if I go to my Intune folder, that was not Intune, was it? So close. Uh, let's see <laughs> where I put that one. Yeah. So here I have downloaded the open Intune baseline from the, the GitHub uh, script repository. We have showcased this a few times, but long story short, if you search for open Intune baseline, either together or in one, uh, uh, if they create one word or separate, you, you will find the GitHub repo. I will put the link here as always. So I just downloaded that one as a zip file, uh, unblocked it and extracted it. So I have it in a folder. Then after that, I launched uh, Michael Carlson's tool uh, that we have showcased probably 55 times here on uh, Office Hours. <laughs> well deserved. Uh, yes, it, it's a great tool. So if you start that tool, you will go to whatever you want to uh, import stuff into. So say that I want to import stuff that are related to settings, catalog settings. I will pick that option, I will hit import, and I would just browse to the folder, this option here to where I have downloaded those. And then you see I get all this listing here of available uh, the, the configuration profiles, policies. And I can decide whether to imp import any assignments or replace any dependency IDs, etc. But this is an option here to simply import everything that you have downloaded to a folder and they get added into Intune. So when you hit, once you hit import here, uh, wait a few minutes, or half a minute. And then when you go to your Intune tenant and log in, go to devices. Uh, I usually click Windows just to shorten the list here. I'm lazy. And then configuration. This is where you will see those shortly. <coughs> uh, uh, coming in, and you can see they're all settings catalog uh, policies. So fairly straightforward to, to get going. And if you don't have any policies today, if this is just a great jump start kit to get something going. Uh, when we do our trainings, our Intune, uh, either masterclass or courses, uh, if you set up a lab environment for the first time, this is just a fantastic jump start to get going. Uh, so if you want to play around with stuff, that's just, it's beautiful. Yep. It's nice to be able to start with something that is well proven and tested rather than trying to figure out everything on your own the first time. Yeah, so, totally agree. Good stuff. Yeah, good it's question. interesting. Yeah. Actually, it's, it's uh, so easy importing this baseline as well. That's the recommended way to import this baseline because all of these policies have actually been exported using that tool. Yeah, I actually <laughs> tried uh, just for the fun of it to use the import function in uh, here, <clears throat> yeah. but uh, not not a good result. So use Michael Carlson's tool when you're working with the open into baseline. Definitely. So I saw a follow-up here from Matt, too. Is there any way to import without Michael Carlson's tool? Um, and I did remember that uh, James had, I think, recently posted in the README for the baseline. Um, actually, if you want to switch over to my screen, Johan. Yes, sir. Uh, the answer is, thank you. The answer is kind of. Um, so there's a section here. Ooh, somebody's not happy. <laughs> yeah, let me see what that's about. To it. Sounds good. Uh, so, <clears throat> um, Matt, the answer is kind of. Um, as you can see here in James' note, 
uh, native imports limited to the settings catalog policies that are part of the Intune baseline. So things like the compliance settings that show up here or the endpoint security settings uh, that are part of the baseline, those aren't going to be able to use the native import. Um, so unfortunately for any of those, you would need to use the Intune management tool. <clears throat> 